We've got some new details in the story brought you yesterday at 11. Senator Marco Rubio doubling down tonight on the idea that our GOP canvasser was attacked because of his political affiliation. That's despite the fact that police have not confirmed a motive in the case. CBS 4's Naja Sherman in the newsroom with the latest. Naja? Elliot, tonight we are also learning new information about Christopher Monzone, the man brutally attacked, and he is no stranger to the news. CBS 4 News is learning more about a man we first reported on after he was attacked in Hialeah on Sunday. We first interviewed Christopher Monzone of Hialeah in 2017. We were covering a story about changing the names of street signs that honored Confederate generals and one time leader of the KKK. This is Monzone holding a Confederate flag. He got into a shouting match with the crowd. And it led to this. Police arrested Monzone and charged him with aggravated assault, inciting a riot, and disorderly conduct. Here is the tweet Senator Marco Rubio put out tonight. It says, when a Republican volunteer is savagely beaten, the traditional media treats the victim as the criminal, and the criminal as a nice young man who likes fishing and just made a mistake. Police have not confirmed a motive for the violent attack, but Rubio is referring to an article released Tuesday from our news partners at the Miami Herald. They interviewed the suspect, 25-year-old Javier Lopez's mother. His mother says she is a registered Republican and says the assault wasn't about politics despite Rubio's viral tweet. She tells the Herald, quote, my son doesn't know anything about politics. He likes fishing. She goes on to say, my son has never voted. On Instagram, we found these pictures, Monzone posing with various political figures, including this one with former President Trump's advisor, Roger Stone. Monzone has an attorney, and for the second day in a row, the attorney has not returned our calls. We wanted to ask him about the incident and Monzone's alleged past connection to white supremacist groups. Here he is in a video from Miami's Rise News. You said that you're Cuban American. That's correct. Everybody that moves here needs to conform in South. That's it. Yeah, this is uh, federal occupied. Dixie. Reporters were invited to speak with Monzone on Monday, and then that was suddenly canceled. Then we were told his father would speak. That was canceled, too. In Rubio's previous tweet, he referred to Monzone as our canvasser, but his office now claims he works for the Republican Party. Lopez's mother also told the Herald that she refuses to bail her son out of jail and wants him to take responsibility for what he did wrong. Naja Sherman, CBS 4 News Tonight.